I still have my ascot in my pocket from last night. Nice. All right, so my name is Mark. Uh, I am the 2013 Fan of the Year. Uh, I hail from Kirkland, Washington. Um, I got into soccer at a young age. I played for a team in Bellevue called the Newport Fireballs. Uh, and actually, funny story about that. Uh, many, many years later, uh, a former Sounders Academy player, McKay Osley, actually played for the same team. So, random. Um, so I've, I've followed soccer all my life, um, kind of here and there. Had never really been to a Sounders game, but I had been to a lot of Sounders camps as a kid. Um, so I'd always known about them and, you know, vaguely followed them. And then I moved away, I moved to Florida for a while, and then I moved home, and it was right at the start of the Sounders kicking off MLS. And so I went to a couple games, including the Open Cup, and I was like, wow, this is really awesome. So immediately called in, and I was like, I gotta have season tickets to this. And I talked to my buddy who lives down in Vancouver, and I was like, would you be interested in splitting season tickets with me? And he's like, yeah, I'd drive up for that. So we started going to all the games together, and uh, here we are six years later. Fan of the year. So that started, they implemented the match pass, which now no longer exists. <laughs> but. Uh, it was, you had an opportunity to earn points for going to events, uh, purchasing things, uh, and then they based it on, you know, your involvement with the program and, and such. And so somehow, me and my two tickets, I was deemed to be the Match Pass Fan of the Year. And so I had put in for an event at the last game to be down on the field and had gotten that and then when I met up with Megan, who runs the program, she was like, so, yeah, you're gonna be down at the field at the end of the game, but uh, there's an extra extra little thing uh, we're, we're gonna do, and are, are you okay if, if uh, the whole stadium's focused on you? <laughs> what? Uh, sure, okay. Uh, and, and then the next question was, have you gone to the bathroom? Because you might want to. Okay, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So we're out there standing, and I think there was there was 11 of us on on a little riser, and players came over and they brought the game balls, and they each signed one, and so I got one from Morrow, uh, and then all of a sudden Ross Fletcher is out in the middle of the field, and I kind of peer up and look at the North End scoreboard or video screen, and I see Fan of the Year and my name, and I'm like. Wait, what? And then I all of a sudden hear Ross Fletcher say that, and I'm just sort of looking around like, me? What? And so then he tells me to come out there, and so now I'm just like shell-shocked, and so I'm sort of walking towards him as he's in the middle of the pitch, and I'm just like, okay. And I, he said a whole bunch of stuff. He was like, here's all the things you want, and I was just like, didn't hear any of it. And he hands me this giant sign, which is now hanging in my garage, uh, you know, kind of like those big fake checks that you get after you win a, a bowling tournament. <laughs> and so I do that and then, you know, we're hanging around on the field afterwards and, and go home and then I finally, you know, my Twitter's blowing up. I'm getting all these people like, oh, congrats. And I'm like, this is crazy. You know, initially I started off as just a, a fan and I was like, you know, I really enjoy soccer. So this is fun. It's a fun social event for me. Um, then I went on an away trip and I was like, wow, this is something else. Sitting with the ECS, well not sitting, standing, you know, and, and dancing and, and singing and it just, it, it opened my eyes to a whole new world of you can be really impassioned for a team and, and give so much more than just showing up. And, you know, I think that's a great thing that we're doing here and a lot of other uh, teams have something similar um, and I hope it's something that we can grow across the country for all the teams because you go to some places and it's just you walk in the stadium and you're like <laughs> wake me up when it's over you know and then you you go especially in Cascadia you go to any of those stadiums and it's just it's a whole nother level of, of people being engaged and and I love that because I think it's you can provide so much more to the team and to yourself and to the people around you by being engaged.
other than actually going to the game and seeing you know people in my section that now I've known for years, uh, is is going beforehand and and running into people, um, especially ECS. We're a big family, and and that's exactly how I look at it. It's like I get to see family. It's like a family reunion every time we have a game, and and being able to come and and have a beer is it's just it's wonderful. It's nice to have something that brings us all together. It's friendship, but it's it's beyond friendship because we really are a big family. And I think you know. It's cool that something like soccer brought us all together, uh, and then we realize that we have so many other things in common, and then we realize all of us are going through something in some way. And having people to rely on that, that are there for you, uh, it's, it's amazing. And it's, it's something that you almost can't put words to, because it's just people that you've met through Twitter, and just all of a sudden, you know, they're there whenever you need them. You need to go have a beer, they're there. And it's, it's just, I love that. It's, it's one of those things that, you know, we could say to the team and they're like, oh yeah, okay, cool. But they probably would never understand how this silly sport of kicking around a ball has brought us all together.